Hey guys, so I had a lot of you say you want to know a little bit more about Kalia's machines. So a medically complex baby that she is, she comes with a few machines that some are life supporting, she has to be on, and some are just so we are reassured that she's doing well and we know her levels. Um, some are loud, some go off all the time, and some are very quiet. As you kind of hear maybe in the background, her vent that's it going off so it can be loud but also just alerts us to know something's going on and we can kind of come over here and silence it when we know that she's doing well and she's showing signs hey boo that she's just fine sometimes she's just really active and super alert and moving and so then it goes off so I'm going to break down to you the machines, what they do, what they're helpful for, and the numbers on them. So here we go. So what is Kalia hooked up to? This is her trach. All right. And we clean it every day around her stoma. And this is her vent that is connected to it. Right here is another piece where we suction out any kind of mucus. But the vent is what we're going to talk about. The vent is giving her extra pressure in her lungs and so unlike us sometimes for her her bronchi and her they collapse and so it helps her give that extra pressure and keep them bigger and wider so she can have bigger breaths but she is amazing she triggers her own breath so it's just a, a support a sister support <laughs> but she's not on any extra oxygen she is on room air so this is it it's got a humidifier, so it keeps it moist. You know, when air that we breathe in moves through our nose or our mouth, it has its own filter that humidifies it and keeps it moist. She doesn't have that. Her trach serves as her mouth. So air, she's breathing through and pushing out. So here it is over here. It has all these different settings, but they're pretty much the settings of pretty much what air to put in her and to keep in her. This little dot right here, that little person means she's triggering. Spontaneous trigger. She's triggering her own breaths. Right here, 20. That's room air where we're all breathing. Respiratory rate, 35. She's pretty chill right now. And then this is the pressure. And it's the peep and pip. So this right number is on her exhale, how much air we leave in her when she exhales. For the standard person, we're at a six. So we just moved this down, which is amazing. And then it has a little water bag that it's attached to that helps come through here and filter in that moisture, that water. So right here, 36 degrees, that's where the moisture is. And by the time it runs through the tube, it's three degrees warmer. That is her vent. There's a few different ones, but this is the Astral and it's pretty compact. We have, um, we have a portable one as well that can kind of hook up as a backpack but this is on her at all times we have a backup one in case anything happens and we keep it charged she never comes off of this but for about five minutes a day and our goal is to work up to being off of it throughout the day the second machine is her oximeter this is her saturation so she's a hundred that's what we want her oxygen saturation if this drops down low it means there's some buildup of mucus in her this is her heart rate. This kind of lets us know the signal. Right here, it says a low signal, which means she's probably kicking. This cord runs all the way to her little foot. And it goes off a lot because she's always moving. And it makes this signal a little bit there. See, there she goes. <laughs> Sometimes she's trying to kick it off. Um, we change it on different feet probably every two to three hours. And again, it's just for us to know her levels. Um, it goes off, like I said, pretty often because she is so active. And that's one of the things we have to look at her and know she looks good. Look, at, there's no discoloration. She's really comfortable. And that's how we're able to read if it's reading right or if we need to do anything. But again, she's an active baby. Kick, kick, kick. The last machine is her suction machine. I'm not going to pull this up. This is a canister. This is pretty much how we suction her mucus out of her. She cannot clear. And that's what the trach is kind of helping for. She's got a lot of secretion. She can't clear it. So we had to manually clear it out. And that's pretty much why we need a lot of nurses. Um, but it's pretty loud. I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. 
this shows you the pressure that it gets up to. And this is something that we just hook up to her when it's time to move some secretions out of her. When she's moving a lot, it tends to have to be suctioned a handful of times, but this is what it's attached to. This stays on her. This is what we attach it, and this is the pressure. But right here, we move this guy in. We hold this and pull the secretions out manually. Um, we know that for her, she goes to the red line, and that's just how big the trach is in her. And as she gets bigger, she might go down further. But yes, this one is super loud and we have to carry this one with us wherever we go as well. It's just not always attached to her. So those are our machines. We've got our vent, we've got our oximeter, we've got our suction, and we've got our baby. Say bye guys. Say bye. <laughs> Miss Kalia and Mrs. Bunny are checking out. <laughs>